Hey, how you guys doing? Dave with RLB Motorsports. Today, I'm excited to talk about some things we got going on with our 2024 Polaris Expedition XP5 North Star that we're building. Uh, and I want to talk about some of the partners that we have involved in this build. So, we want to go from this small 30 inch stock wheel and tire setup to a Valor 35 inch Alpha tire with their brand new polished V09 aluminum wheel, beadlock, beadlock wheel. So to get this size of a tire, obviously you can see the huge difference under a car like this. Yes, you can do a forward kit. They, they make a two inch forward kit, pushes your front end forward two inches and it'll fit under there. You're still probably gonna have some rubbing issues or some things to be concerned about. We decided to go all out. We partnered with this great company Thumper Fab for their long travel kit. So this long travel kit comes complete. I'm gonna talk about everything you get with it so you understand when you go to Thumper Fab and you purchase a long travel kit, what you get, because I'm personally pretty impressed with the way this comes and is one of the biggest reasons we wanted to partner with them is because it was gonna be less work for us to get everything and get it on the car. So. Besides it being a high quality kit, welds look awesome, um, built properly, has lots of good tech out there, lots of good information out there, lots of positive feedback from people who have used this kit. Um, what I'm seeing as really looking at it for the first time, um, they, one, put a really nice powder coat on it. So uh, it's a nice, durable looking powder coat. I even like how they powder coated their their badge that they riveted onto it. It's actually in this, uh, I don't know if you can see, but it's in this gray color, which honestly for us matches our car perfect. So uh, that actually was a nice little um, positive there for you know color matching on the car. Um, but again, like I said, it's a full kit. Uh, they provide the extension brake line. So once you go wider, this kit is a 3.5 inch wider kit per side, as well as pushes the front end forward to be able to fit the larger tires. So in doing that, you need lar lar uh, longer axles, longer tie rods, longer brake lines. It's all in the kit. So again, you've got your brake lines for both sides front and rear to extend the brake lines out um, you have some additional hardware because there are parts of the install where you need to use additional hardware but most of the kit uses your factory hardware uh, their instructions are exceptional i don't have them in front of me here but they the kit comes with a full packet with full instructions pictures the whole nine yards tells you how to do it as well as uh, they have a nice youtube video showing the install of this complete kit on this car and many other cars that they make kits for. Um, another nice feature about this kit is it comes with this extended shock tower. Now when you stretch your car, when you're, when you're doing long travel and you are elongating your suspension, your shocks are going to go more tilted if you leave it in the stock location because the bottom on the arms push out so that means if you're mounting to the top location on your shock tower it pushes them in so you get this huge angle when you get to that huge angle it's a lot harder to um shock tune for that angle you really want one to one straight up and down that's the easiest to tune for as soon as your your shock starts landing it makes it a little harder to tune and a little bit more work to get the proper tuning out of your shock so what they do is they extend the top out to bring that top end out and it's going to stand your shocks up a little bit better give you a closer one-to-one -one ratio so you get a much better uh, geometry of your shock tra tower or travel your shock travel um, so what this does is it just bolts right on to the factory location and pushes it out a few inches and yeah, it's nice. It's nice that they do that. And with that comes the steel inserts that would go where your normal shocks go within this tower. So when you bolt it all together, um, it's a nice snug fit. So that's a really nice part of the kit. Also, what we went with is their upgraded uniball kit. Now they make 
their own ball upgraded ball joint kit as well plus there's other ball joints on the market these cars come stock with ball joints which are great you know there's lots of issues with them people have problems with them you, you eventually are going to have to re replace your ball joint especially if you go to long travel so we decided to go with the uniball kit because this is the strongest thing you could put in a uh, suspension kit to hold up to the abuse that your suspension takes so it's nice they make their own and you have that option to purchase it with the kit you can use the stock ones right in this kit i don't recommend it so then another thing that's really nice so there's other long travel kits on the market some come with some come without but they come with their own heavy duty tie rod bolts right into the factory location it's extended it's not an extension to a tie rod um, that some kits come with this is a full heavy duty steel tie rod with the ball joint or the mini um, uh, mini shaft on the end here as well as an adjustable heim joint on this end uh, it's left and right threaded so you can just turn it to work on your toe and set up your uh, your toe on the car as well as it comes with the boots to cover this end of the uh, heavy duty tie rod so really stoked and that this came with that it just makes our life easier we don't have to source tie rods because when you go to long travel you do not want to use the factory tie rods they are much too weak this is the way to go so kudos to thumper fab for putting that in with the kit then they also do cobra axles so cobra axles is a, is a different company than Th uh, uh, thumper fab but they partner with them so uh, these are complete axles from end to end CVs, everything put in their boots are already clamped on. They are ready to go on the car as is. So you're going to pop the stock axles off and just pop these right on. And uh, they do come labeled, which is nice. So it tells you which which axle goes where on the car. That's nice also. So um, again, another little add-on. So getting this whole kit from Thumper Fab is a complete kit. We don't have to source anything. We're going to get this thing installed without having to buy anything or source anything to get it on the car. This kit will be going on the car. We figure it's going to take us about a day, maybe a day and a half to do it right and slow and, and make sure we get everything right. But uh, stay tuned. We're going to start installing it on the car and we'll add some bits and pieces along the way to show you how we installed it and things that we found that are easier to do and, and what it looks like when it's all done. So uh, thanks for watching.